Hello, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this really, really cool, super vibrant, dithered set of, like it's like a flower arrangement, but I'm gonna show you the process for getting the glow and the colors and the dither as well itself, obviously, so that you can do this on other images too. This is a really specific tutorial and it's a little bit like impromptu because I just finished recording the last video on dithering and on this style and I was just messing around afterwards and I got this. So I thought I would just show you this process as well. To get into it, I'm using an image of some flowers that are like chrome flowers almost from resource database on Unsplash. So shout out to them. I will leave a link to them in the description obviously you can use this on whatever you want what I would say is distinct about this image is there's really only three shades here blue orange and brown so I would go for something that is also simple in terms of like not a whole like rainbow of colors basically anyway I've already got my image open in Ditherboy and I'm going to go for the modulated diffuse X style. The settings I went for when I got that image I showed you before were scale 7, contrast 30, midtones 62, highlights 9 and luminance threshold all the way up with a little bit of blur as well. So I'm going to go file export and copy to clipboard. Next, I've got Photoshop open already and I'm in 1080 by 1350 pixels that is. What I'm going to do straight away is double click on the background and convert it to a smart object and then I'm going to open that up and paste in my dither and then I'm just going to go back into dither boy and I'm going to do a modulated diffuse Y with the same settings and I'm going to copy that and paste that in too. Then I just need to scale these two layers down to fit my new canvas size, but I'm gonna control S to save the smart object and exit. Next, I'm gonna to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, add whatever blur you want. And then by clicking this little icon here, you can open the blending options and change the blend mode to screen. Then hold down Alt and drag the Gaussian blur above itself or below itself. And you can duplicate the Gaussian blur. And then from here you can sort of stack up the glow a little bit more and you can you can keep sort of duplicating those until you feel like you're done if you go a little bit too far you can always go back into the blending options and reduce the opacity of one of your glows just to balance things out next drag in your original image that has your colors that you're going to use and same again blur Gaussian blur, add as much as you want because it remains editable afterwards. Then add a hue and saturation layer on top and just add some saturation basically until you start to see some subtle shapes coming through. Next, the last step is just changing the blend mode of your original image to color. And from here, basically, it is just tweaking the saturation and the Gaussian blur until you are happy with the like color balance can obviously also go back and edit your original Gaussian blur on your original either if you like. And then because you've got this set up now, if you double click into your smart object and switch to the other one that I imported and just save that, it'll sync up on its own. Same goes if you want to go and do more dithering with more different sort of dithering algorithms. This one maybe isn't the best example, but just to show you it does work. If I copy that to clipboard now, and paste that in to the smart object I made, close that, it'll apply the exact same effect to the other dither. Obviously, the line-based glitchy dithers kind of look the best here, but just showing you, if you do it that way, it remains editable, basically, whatever image it is you're working on. If you wanna know more about this specific type of dithering, I just uploaded a video, the last video on this channel before this one will have been my full explanation of this. So if you want to know exactly how to control all that stuff, then go watch the last video. And yeah, that's about it. Obviously a really short video, really short tutorial, but this was like just really pretty and really specific. So I just thought I would show you how it's done. Maybe I'd add just a little curves adjustment or you can go in and up the vibrance if you want with a vibrance adjustment layer, but yeah. Totally up to you what you do from there. It's just the blending setup really that I wanted to show. So if there's anything else you want to see in Ditherboy, let me know. What I'm trying to do is just do a tutorial for everything I make. Like if I make it in Ditherboy, I will then make a tutorial if it's good, obviously. So more videos like this coming soon. Thanks for all the support on Ditherboy. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.